Cowboys do. Turn your toes. All right. Nod your head. Take up another line of work. See you, Prescott GR. Never gonna know exactly 
where he's going And I wish I did not hurt so bad Another go around And I'm bound to be back again If the Lord don't let me down Gallon, make a regular. Hello. Howdy. Howdy, Mister. Hi. Well, she's about two quarts low. You want me to have that forty weight? Forty weight, you bet. I'll take some of them apples. Well, they have some nice fresh ones. All right. That'll be 36. Thank you. You bet.
Sorry I missed you, Ace. Cost five thousand dollars, please. I don't need a penny more, and I wouldn't take it if you dropped it playing solitaire. I can hit it, boy. Ace, yes, you never missed. Not when it came to costing me money. Yeah, all right, all right. So I never found much of that Nevada silver. But Curly, this time I'm talking about Australia. Gold. Dad, Australia's a long reach. It's too long for me. Boy, I already invested my last 3000 in this project. Look, I don't want any part of it. Not a penny of it. I'm fed up to here with your schemes. Look, if you want to stick around here, that's fine with me. I'll put you on a weekly allowance, but that'll be that. Send his bill to me, Arliss. Well, anyway, honey, I'm in your hands. My nurse's best equipment. Her hands and her heart. My hand on your heart. A word from our sponsor. Hi, folks. I'm Curly Bonner. Oh. Have I got some news for you? Neighbors, if you're thinking about a second home or retirement to clean air country, then look no further than my new mobile home development. Located just east of Prescott, Arizona, in the Mile High Mountain area. Where friendly people wait to meet and greet you. Now come out and visit me at the Bonner Trading Post. <laughs>
Howdy, man. Howdy, man. Hi, man. Hey, you boys, mind getting down off the fence there? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Claude, put this old black hooking son of a bitch in by himself somewhere. Hey, watch him there, he'll stick his tongue in you. What's that old bull? He's meaner than a snake. Most fellas would like to trade him off for a hound pup and then pay $10 to get the hound pup shot. <laughs> How's everything, Bill? Really good. Sure, glad to see you. Nice to see you. Hello. Did you get in? Last night. We got you in, Tree. You sat down for the bronc riding, bulldogging, bull riding, and wild cow milk. Well, you can put my dad's name down for the wild cow milk, and I'll do the mugging. Well, that sounds great. Good to see you and your dad together again. Thank you. Good. What did that come to? 125. 125 out of 150. Right. Okay, 25, 26, 7, 8, 9, and 30, and 20 makes 50. You sure, thank you. I'm gonna draw those bulls in the morning about 10. I'll be there. Real good. You haven't seen my dad around here. No, I sure haven't. Uh, I saw Curly yesterday, though. I bet he'd know where he is. Um, much obliged. We sure thank you. Thank you. See you later. Now. Yeah, war paint. Mm. Morning, Red. Yeah. You got Pontiac and Chino Valley. Yep. Yeah, I didn't see you around the palace. I slept outside. Mm -hmm. Let me $15, Red. You already owe me $25. Well, that's $40. You got change? Well, uh, I'll get it. Hey, come around tonight, and I'll win that back from you. Hey, yeah, why don't you stick around, JR? How you doing? Huh? Well, I'll tell you what you do. You all get your car and everything, and then just you get on and go down and get All right. See ya. 
big hearted, ain't he? Yeah, Red. Heart almost big as yours. New York. Buck Rome still around? No, he went down to the palace. IDs. Just go home and get legal, will you, please? You always say that, Dell. Yeah, the sweetest thing. See you later. JR. Hey, Homer, Red. Hi, JR. You want a beer? Don't yeah. mind if I do. Yeah. Find out, I can't dance. Hey, Buck, I'll be right there. I'm not going anywhere. You ready for another? Let's leave her on the bar. Dell, don't you know it? Fine. Have a seat. Sit down. How you feeling? Not bad. Not bad. Act like you're hurting. I'm just fine. You, uh, you contracting the Salini show, are you, after you close out here? Nah, uh, hell, I got to go on to Cheyenne and rest my stock a little bit. You looking forward to riding for your hometown folks? Yeah. Me and my dad are going to be working the cow milking together. <laughs> that's fair to draw, too. Well, that's me and Ace, all right. Money? Well, money's nobody's favorite, bro. But I want to ride that sunshine bull of yours again. Your luck's running, you're just liable to draw him again. I just don't want to be counting on my luck. You know, I don't set the draw, Junior. Now, listen, those cowboys will pay you to stay off that bull. I don't suppose you're thinking about paying me to draw him for you, are you? Well, it's just like I said. Money's nobody's favor. I'll be damned if you're not serious. Just one of him and one of me. Look, Junior, neither me or my bull aim to make a living off another fella's pride. Now, you might as well face it. You're just not the rider you was a few years back. I need it, Buck. It's my hometown. Talk to him on your time, J.R. He's on my time now. Right, Buck? That's right. You heard what the man said. Got to go to work before somebody else gets his money. Maybe you'll get lucky in Salinas, J.R. Yeah. Hey, Red. Yeah. Come on. I'll ride that bull for half the prize money. You sure are a man of confidence. And mighty generous, too. That's me, Buck. Just full of confidence. I'll give you that. Come on, Buck. We're all set up. Deal the cards, boys.
easy, boy. I'm one of the good guys. Go ahead. Is your pa's dog all right? He'll either shake your hand or bite it off. See. You're looking just fine, sugar. Come on now. <laughs> hey, let me have those tomatoes. Yeah. You farming now, are you? Sure as hell I'm trying. It's the old man's dog here. Waiting on him to get out of the hospital, that's why. <sighs> well, what's he doing there? He ran off the Cherry Creek Road last night. Drinking? What do you think? Total this truck? Is he okay? Oh, he's fine. Thank you. Devil sure takes care of his own. I went up the ranch looking for Ace, and somebody's turned that place into a gravel pit. Did you know that? Yeah. Curly. Ace sold out to him. He got this notion to. Prospect for silver up in Tonopah. <laughs> and then he left with 15,000 in his jeans. That's all Curly paid him for that land, $15,000? That's all. Four sections up there. I know. Curly and Ruth still running that place up the highway? Mm-hmm. They're the two busiest people in this county. Curly started a mobile home development on the ranch right in back of the trading post. And he isn't stopping there. Junior. Where are you gonna stop? Well, about that money, I haven't been paying you. It's going to continue to be an interruption there. <laughs> Is that what it's called? A continued interruption? Well, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Your brother's taking care of things. He's selling this place, is he? Why not? Mobile homes are the thing of the future. Yeah. Really come to supper tonight? Yeah. I think he wants to see you. Okay. Well, you and Ace. Maybe you're the lucky ones drifting the way you do. Maybe. You've been keeping borders, Mom. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going up to the hospital. Figures. See you tonight. keep him off the ceiling, but I can't keep his hands off me. <laughs> Come back in the morning. He was asking for you. Well, when he wakes up, you tell him I'm around, would you? Oh, you get around, like to say a few words about the Rio de Ranchero. 
Now, the Bonner Trading Post was established in 1955. It's 10 years before the last clean air in America was reportedly seen in Flagstaff, Arizona. I'm no fancy scientist. I'm just a United States businessman, folks, and I'm proud of it. But I'll guarantee you, Prescott's air is as clean or cleaner than our illustrious neighbor to the north. Now, we have an air-conditioned charter bus over here to take you for a free tour of the Rieta Rancheros. We have these lovely young ladies in hot pants passing out free maps and brochures. You'll find at the Rieta Rancheros, Come to the we bus. have quarter it's acre lot. We have underground on your way out. 700 trailer spaces, you like the cookie book sunken you garbage eat? cans, and total, but I mean total, electric living. Now, I hope you enjoyed the free lemonade cookies, courtesy of early bonus trade folks. Uh, Bonnie, Toby, excuse me, folks. Step right this way, ladies and gentlemen, for home on the range retirement. Just 10 minutes from city shopping. Hey, Junior. Want to play golf? Hey, there, boy. In the ranch, Cheryl, <laughs> there'll be an 18 hole <laughs> golf course. Yeah. Golf play. Hey, yeah. How's that rodeo? Life on the street. Yeah. You got no complaints. Curly. What are you doing? Hey, boy, I'm just making money hand over fist here, huh? You wait till you see what I got lined up for you. Hey, girls, let's roll them, huh? You just gonna love what's happening here. Hey, I'll see you at Mom's tonight. Seven o'clock dinner sharp, huh? Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Come on! Step aboard, folks. Come on now. Everyone, let's go. The bus is low. Here you go. Let me have it there. Come on down the highway in the twilight of your life. Then with the house gone, well, then there's no problem. Everything's gonna be better all the way around. Mama's gonna be living inside the model home trailers. Well, if Mom can show the people how roomy and comfortable their lives can be in our red shadows. Then she can be in charge of our gift shop. I really give her a chance to get rid of some of these antiques. Mom, do you have to smoke while you're feeding our baby? God, boys. Here's a couple of free ones. Best seats in the house. Gee, thanks, Hi, Uncle Junior. You pass your Uncle Junior those mashed potatoes and gravy. Get some good draws from our Uncle Junior? You better believe. You could write anything with hair on it, Uncle Junior. Well, you pay your money, you take your chances. That's whiskey. There never was a horse that couldn't be rode. There never was a cowboy that couldn't be thrown. Famous old saying, all right. Well, Curly says that you've seen one rodeo, you've seen them all. Well, I didn't mean our rodeo, darling. That's part of history. Well, still, it's just a rodeo. the old man's land. 15,000. Yeah, which he proceeded to gamble in the away in Nevada. But he had to quit prospecting. 20 feet away from Mother Lowe, just like always. Don't seem much. 2,600 acres. Well, now he's got this scheme to go to Australia. Well, why don't you send him? Oh, come on, Junior. I put him on a weekly allowance, and that's that. I told him so. You know what I mean? Yeah. You we'll start thinking about your own self for a change. You may not know it, but you are in the right place at the right time. It's here. 
It's a regular land boom, Junior. Yeah, I saw you wide open spaces. You know less about wide open spaces than I do. I know it here and where it is. You're just some kind of motel cowboy. Fifteen thousand just seems a little bit short. Fifteen or thirty thousand, he still would have blown it all. Now, he needed the money fast. And I got it for him. Me. I just want you to get a grip on your future. I want you to come work for me. You want me to help you sell the old man's land? Our land. Junior? What a salesman you'd make for the Vancheros. Big cowboy like you? Sincere? Well, you're genuine as a sunrise. Well, there's no point fooling ourselves now, is there? Huh? You got to ride. Giddy up, giddy up. You got to ride. That's right, Curly. Salinas, California. Day after tomorrow. You think on what I said? I still want you to turn out like the old man. man. I'm telling you. on the floor, don't you, Arliss? Now watch my legs make them move. But you're not well enough. Oh, I'm heaven bound, sweetheart. But not today. Hey, get that cleaned up, will you please? Junior was in yesterday and he said he was coming back. Well, he'll find me or I'll find him. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. you get back in this room. This horse on the edge of this hospital. We're not leaving this hospital no matter what. Orderly! Orderly, stop this man! Stop him! I don't fight fair, boys. And you are a fool, Ace Bonner. Adios, sweet angel of mercy. Yahoo! Where to? To the rodeo, partner. Where the hell else? I've been thinking on it, Junior. Kick in the head, Junior. That's what it's about. You know, Junior, if a man was going to expand his business and talk in more shows and more towns, he might be interested in an assistant. Say, a fella that had been around some. Champion in his day. Well, I just thought I'd mention it. Don't think so, Buck. You had breakfast? Nope. Well, we go down here and get a little bread and gravy. It'll be fine right there. Keep 
chainsaw. Hey, dog. Where you been? <laughs> Stay here, please. Hey, you pretty little girls. You look like you might have seen Junior Bonner. No, but I'd be glad to give him any message. Any time. Now, how'd I know you was going to say that? Who do you suppose he is? All us contestants planning to ride as the parade. Please assemble at the south parking lot. Bonner slept here. He said he'd find you. There you go. I'll make sure he takes his medicine. Still living. Until around the kicking. How you been making it? Better than I deserve. Going down and getting big parade? Don't you know it? How many we rode in, Roy? Not enough, Ace. Not enough and maybe too many, huh? Too many, probably. Yeah, I'm him off that first barrel. I think I got company. Hey, pretty little girls. I want you to meet Mr. Ace Bonner. How do you do, Mr. Bonner? Howdy. Oh, no, that's me. You JR's dad. Yeah, I used to be. Didn't I, Roy? Right. <laughs> Go on, let me show you the way into town. Afraid we'll get lost. No, I'm afraid I'm going to lose you. So long, Roy. So long, Ace. No way. Hey, Johnny Mullins. Where's my horse? Hey, Spotter. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you fellas just sit around and let them take it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Have we got all our bull riders here? Because I'm closing the books. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, here's what we got today for you, boys. Okay, Jones. Number 46, Spike. Tom Acuff, number number 16, Tom Tojo. Okay, Jimmy Morgan, number 86, Buttermilk. <laughs> Terwilliger. Red Terwilliger, number 35, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Sorry, Red, you make him look good. Just watch, JR, if you got time. I got the time. Bonner draws number 62, Sunshine. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. That's Sunshine twice in one week, JR. I'll buy you some more tape. All right, Red. Where are you going? I got to go find my dad. He stole my horse. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that first dance is mine. 
on. I'll do her.
ride I've had since Christmas Eve in Tonopah. And I was snowed in. Bobby's? Yeah, the Buckeye. She sends her regards. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. You ever hear from Johnny Mars? <sighs> yeah. He's busting horses out of Carlsbad. Still makes the El Paso show. And Buddy Cox. Always hollered, as long as women live, my name will never die. Well, he's dead, Dad. Car crash between Abilene and Dallas. Well, I hear you're doing very well. Where'd you hear that? Taking care of Mom, are you? Oh, not much. She's selling antiques out the townhouse. She's happy. She's living right where she wanted to live all her life. Right in the middle of things. Curly's gonna sell that house. Put her in a curio shop. Curly's doing right well. Junior, I'm going to Australia. What are you gonna do? Hunt kangaroos? <laughs> Gold for the finding, that's what. 150,000 square miles to prospect. And sheep, merino, finest wool in the world. I already made the down payment. How'd you like to come down there with me? Yeah, I know you can't make it. Not a big rodeo star. But at least you could grub stake your dad. I'd make you partner number one, Junior. Partner number one. Now, what do you say to that? Oh, something I gotta tell you. Oh, no, something I gotta tell you about mining. There's a lot to learn. Rare metals, big future. I'm busted, Ace. Of course, you never tried your hand at prospect. Busted? Better in a tire. Well, all I need is 5,000. <laughs> About 5 million.
Well, it's time to go to work. You're not too old to rope. I'll do the mugging. Got us entered. The wild cow milking? It's you bet. Come on. <laughs> Curly paid you the money for the land, Pop. What'd you do with it? Oh. The honest intentions of a man trying to make money with money. The unfortunate prey to the evils of nighttime ladies and neon lights. But, no, sir, no matter what he says, not penny one from Curly will I take. And I mean that, because... <laughs> <laughs> One more parade. Come ride in the Grand Entry with us. Is your horse again, Junior? Mine is yours. <laughs> Busted. Opportunity of a lifetime. Come on, girls. Damn it. Whoa. Well, if it isn't Junior Bonner. Hey, folks, this is Junior Bonner. Bert Hunsager. Oh, you remember me. Six years ago, little place in Nogales. Right after the Tucson show? Six years is a long time. But you're sure looking good, Bert. Here's your grand entry for this, the 84th Annual Frontier Day Rodeo, the oldest professional rodeo in America. It was on July 4th, 1888. Cowboys from the surrounding ranches first gave as an entertainment to the people of Prescott an exhibition of ranch activities and cowboy sports. And behind the first rodeo lay Hopkins Division, each year having a 4th of July celebration. The Prescott Frontier Day celebration is the original cowboy rodeo in America. And in the years since, has continued to be one of the most honored and well known rodeos in America. Hey, Bill, let me have that rock, will you? I should mention here that if any of you were at the big parade downtown early this morning and are wondering if that fellow in the blue shirt on your own horse is going to speed today, I can tell you he will. Ace Bonner will be a contestant in today's rodeo. He's been a part of the rodeo for 42 years. Here's the grand marshal of this year's rodeo, twice world champion all-around cowboy Casey Tibb. Now, rodeo stock contractor, the man responsible for all the bucking horses, steers, and bulls you're about to see, Buck Roan. Buck Roan of Amarillo, Texas. And here's a pair of fellows who will be entertaining you this afternoon. Tom Lucia, joining Tom, clown and bullfighter from Enid, Oklahoma. Jim Hill. All right, Tom, hold it. You better save that for the palace bar.
if you don't quit blindfolding him with his ass. That's a good cowboy. <laughs> you can't win them all. Good ride. The score for Bobby Penley was 62. Steer wrestling. Here's an event that required perfect timing and a straight run. Bulldogger jumped from his horse, grabbed the steer with the horn, stopped him, and whisked him down. I tried it one time, and as far as I know, the steer is still running. $850 total first prize money. Tough luck, cowboy. That happens all the time, dude. I'll tell you what. 
If you were to take a cattle stampede and cross it with a barroom brawl, you just might come up with something resembling our next event. Wild cow milking Now don't you wait for my loop to settle, Junior. I'm accurate, number one. So the minute I throw you, get your tail in motion, boy. And then I'll do my thing, as they say. Before we turn loose those boys, we got me in that circle over there. They're the muggers. And it's the mugger's job to hang on and slow down the cow while the roper gets down from his horse and have the milking chores. You muggers and ropers remember whose team it is now, won't you? All right, turn the cows loose. Here they come, roping down. If this world's all about winners, what's for the losers? Well, somebody's got to hold the horses, eh? Uh huh. You're right. I'll see you fellas later. Now, you're going to be there when I deal with that bully, aren't you, Buck? Yeah, Junior, I'll be there. Well, 
don't look at me, boy. I don't make no decisions with a drink in my hand. Well, you better put that drink down, because you've got company, Ace. You're in the Navy now, Elvira. Just hold on, please. That's fine. Just oh, gentle on. Jesus, meek and mild. I'm in trouble, son. Take a deep seat, Ace. Is this any of your idea? I'll blister your tail from here to next Wednesday. You're not nervous, are you? <laughs> Come on up here, you too. Golly, I missed you. Did you kill any lions? Funny, Silver? Hello, Ace. Mrs. Bonner? Looking very well. You don't look so bad yourself, considering. Dad, can I have a drink, please? We're thirsty. Yeah, please, Dad, walk up there. Why, well, sure you can. We'll all have ourselves a drink. Now. That's up. Beer's all around for these midgets. Ace, coax. Around for me and my boys. I'm in up. Ruth? No, beer's fine. Ellie, I seem to recall you had an occasional taste for bourbon whiskey. Didn't think you'd remember. Who could forget? It was a nice float you had, Curly. Been in second in the commercial division. Well, second better than third. Ellie? This calls for a toast. We are all together. You're up, Ace. Well, since I am top of the pile, them as has their roads ahead. Ace. Our dance. Arliss. You all know Arliss here. Well, I've heard the name. Hello, Mrs. Bonner. Our dancers. Didn't you always save the first dance for Mom, Ace? It's a good idea, Ace. Boys, times have changed. I changed them. Dance with her, Ace. Sweet combination. I can't dance with both of you. Come on, sweetheart, let's cut it together. It's like old time. You can sell one lot or a hundred lots. I'm just trying to keep us together. I gotta go down my own road. What road? Yeah, I'm working on my first million. You're still working on eight seconds. Curly. Come on. Come on, let's get.
Here's a little song I wrote for all the rodeo hands. It's called Rodeo Man. Double bourbon. Do dance, don't you? Well, I'm lying, Junior. Not really. I'll dance with you. Hey, how about playing something a little bit slower? One dance, Junior. I can't count much further. Today I started loving you again. Where'd you get the new doll? Well, what you doing, Casey? That's a young filly I picked up down Cheyenne. Over you, just long enough to let my heart ache mend. Then today I started loving you again. Well, I'll tell you the truth, man. I kind of do. Nothing personal. Yeah, well, I hope she treats you better in sunshine. So do I, Red. Oh, who's the sunshine in your life? Just a bull, I'll be right. <laughs> You get. What? Come on, I mean it. I read that in a good ear. Hold it. Hold it down. Fight like my own lead, Red. We can't have no fighting around here. Come on, Dwinnaker. Watch him, Buck. What's your name? Charmaine. Why do they call you Junior? Well, I'll tell you the truth, I don't know. <laughs> you got stuck, huh? Yeah. Oh, no. You from Phoenix? Uh-huh. You work down there, do you? Anything. <laughs> it's not very exciting compared to what you do, is it? Well, not unless you own the bank. Miss Deer.
you? Oh, uh, ladies don't think you know that. Hey, sweet cheeks! <laughs> I watched you today. You were pretty good. Fall off a lot. Keep clear, boys. My dog don't fight fair. <laughs> you always run with that crowd? No. Anyway, it looks like this crowd may not make it. No, I don't think so. Why? Why not? Oh, I'm just passing through. Me too. One of Selena's a passing down to Fort Worth. Traveling Campbell. Patriotic, fellas. Yeah, hold it, hold it. Let's do the Star Spangled Banner. chasing all the girls for? I love them. No, no, Dell, it wasn't no bronc, but a bull. The name of Holy Joe. You remember him, Roy? Yeah, I remember him. Old Holy Joe. Blind in one eye, meaner than a boot full of barbed wire. <laughs> he sent a lot of good hands to church. Made more than one cowboy do a little praying. Well, sir, I wanted to draw on that bull the whole year. And don't you know, when we got to the Madison Square Garden, by God, I got it. <laughs> I told Mr. Jack Dempsey in his restaurant the night before, we was introduced as one champ to another. I told him he wanted to see a real fight. He ought to see me and that bull go eight seconds. <laughs> well, I rode that bull. And after eight seconds, there was 16,423 big city dudes standing on their feet and hollering my name. <laughs> that was the last time. <laughs> Ellie? Excuse me, boys. Ellie, where are you going? Did you hear me, Ellie? I asked you where you were going. Get some air. Now, wait on me, honey. I want to talk with you. Mm -hmm. By hook or by crook, I'm going to Australia. Well, you always were good at putting distance between us. Oh, now, look, honey. Now, don't turn your back on me. I'm asking, what's a man to do? Silver all shot to hell. No more bounty on the lions. 
Hey, you know, you could go down there with me. Ace, why don't you just shut up? She sure got a case of the nits, don't she? <laughs> Australia. Silver in Nevada. You are a broken record, Ace. Now, quiet down, honey. We don't want our wash hung out in public. Why the hell should I be quiet? Well, now, listen, honey. You listen. Because I just don't give a damn anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you can go to hell or Australia, but not with me. Well, they're both down under. <laughs> Dreams. Sweet talk. That's all you are. If you stay with me, I'll sweeten the dreams, too. Do you remember? Sure as hell I had that coming. You sure as hell did. But I'm leaving for good, Ellie. And I mean it this time. Then all we got left is today. Well, anyway, Ellie. You seen one rodeo, you seen them all. Uh -huh.
had to win, didn't you? Yeah. So long, Ma. Sydney, Australia. Man and dog. Economy will cost you $585, and first class is $798 plus $40 for the animal. Right at first class. All right. Put that in the name of Mr. Ace Barnard. Mm -hmm. 
And you can have it delivered to him at the Palace Bar. Here's your money. Oh, uh, who shall we say paid for the ticket? Tell him Junior sent you. I'll be in town this weekend, honey. Look for me downtown. Anytime after the band starts playing, I'll be around. I'll park my two-horse trailer up at the rodeo ground. Then I'll start rolling. I'm a rodeo man. I picked up 35 bucks in Reno. I couldn't get a decent ride, but I'll do all. Take up another line of work. See you, Prescott GR.
always been my friend It's a reason to begin again With another piece of lonely highway there for the taking And the Arizona sun don't shine Till he's looking on this face of mine Cause he knows a man ain't beat Until he's breaking And I wish I did not hurt so bad For another go around But I'm bound to be back again If the Lord don't let me down roads to ride but you're never gonna know exactly where he's going and I wish I did not hurt so bad another go around and I'm bound to be back again if the Lord don't let me down Gallon. Make a regular. Hello. Howdy. Howdy, mister. Hi. Well, she's about two quarts low. You want me to have that 40 weight? 40 weight? You bet. I'll take some of them apples. Well, they have some nice fresh ones. All right. That'll be 30 cents. Thank you. You bet.
sorry I missed you, Ace. Cost five thousand dollars, please. I don't need a penny more, and I wouldn't take it if you dropped it playing solitaire. I can hit it, boy. Ace, yes, you never missed. Not when it came to costing me money. Yeah, all right, all right. So I never found much of that Nevada silver. But Curly, this time I'm talking about Australia. Gold. Dad, Australia's a long reach. It's too long for me. But boy, I already invested my last 3000 in this project. Look, I don't want any part of it. Not a penny of it. I'm fed up to here with your schemes. Look, if you want to stick around here, that's fine with me. I'll put you on a weekly allowance, but that'll be that. Send this bill to me, Arliss. Well, anyway, honey, I'm in your hands. My nurse's best equipment. Her hands and her heart. My hand on your heart. In a moment, but first, a word from our sponsor. Hi, folks. I'm Curly Bonner. Oh. Have I got some news for you? Neighbors, if you're thinking about a second home or retirement to clean air country, then look no further than my new mobile home development. Located just east of Prescott, Arizona, in the Mile High Mountain area. When friendly people wait to meet and greet you. Now come out and visit me at the Bonner Trading Post. <laughs>
Howdy, man. Howdy, man. Hi, man. Hey, you boys, mind getting down off the fence there? Thank you. Hey, Claude, put this old black hooking son of a bitch in by himself somewhere. Hey, watch him there, he'll stick his tongue in you. What's that old bull? He's meaner than a snake. Most fellas would like to trade him off for a hound pup and then pay ten dollars to get the hound pup shot. <laughs> How's everything, Bill? Real good. Sure. Glad to see you. Nice to see you. Hello. Did you get in? Last night. We got you in, Tree. You sat down for the bronc riding, bulldogging, bull riding, and wild cow milking. Well, you can put my dad's name down for the wild cow milking, and I'll do the mugging. Oh, that sounds great. Good to see you and your dad together again. Thank you. Good. What did that come to? 125. 125 out of 150. You probably right. Okay, 25, 26, 7, 8, 9, and 30, and 20 makes 50. You sure, thank you. I'm gonna draw those bulls in the morning about 10. I'll be there. Real good. You haven't seen my dad around here. No, I sure haven't. Uh, I saw Curly yesterday, though. I bet he'd know where he is. Um, much obliged. We sure thank you. Thanks. See you later. Yeah. All right. Yeah, war paint. Yeah. Morning, Red. Yeah. We got Pontiac and Chino Valley. Yep. Yeah, I didn't see you around the palace. I slept outside. Mm -hmm. Let me $15, Red. You already owe me $25. Well, that's $40. You got change? Well, uh, I'll get it. Hey, come around tonight and I'll win that back from you. Hey, yeah, why don't you stick around, JR? How you doing? Huh? Well, I'll tell you what you do. You all get your car there. Right? And then you just you get on down. All right. See ya. 
big hearted, ain't he? Yeah, Red. Heart almost big as yours. New York. Buck Rome still around? No, he went down to the palace. <laughs> IDs. Just go home and get legal, will you please? You always say that, Dell. Yeah, the sweetest thing. See you later. JR. Hello, Homer. Red. Hi, JR. You want a beer? Don't yeah. mind if I do. Yeah. Find out. I can't dance. Hey, Buck. I'll be right there. I'm not going anywhere. You ready for another? Let's leave her on the bar. Dell, don't you know it? Ah. Have a seat. Sit down. How you feeling? Not bad. Not bad. Act like you're hurting. I'm just fine. You, uh, you contracting the Salini show, are you, after you close out here? No, nah, hell, I got to go on to Cheyenne and rest my stock a little bit. You looking forward to riding for your hometown folks? Yeah. Me and my dad are gonna be working the cow milking together. <laughs> that's a bear to draw to. Well, that's me and Ace, all right. Money? Well, money's nobody's favorite, but when I wanna ride that sunshine bull of yours again. Your luck's running, you're just liable to draw him again. I just don't want to be counting on my luck. You know, I don't set the draw, Junior. Now, listen, those cowboys will pay you to stay off that bull. I don't suppose you're thinking about paying me to draw him for you, are you? Well, it's just like I said. Money's nobody's favor. I'll be damned if you're not serious. Just one of him and one of me. Look, Junior, neither me or my bull aim to make a living off another fella's pride. Now, you might as well face it. You're just not the rider you was a few years back. I need it, Buck. It's my hometown. Talk to him on your time, J.R. He's on my time now. Right, Buck? That's right. You heard what the man said. Got to go to work before somebody else gets his money. Maybe you'll get lucky in Salinas, J.R. Yeah. Hey, Red. Yeah. Come on. I'll ride that bull for half the prize money. You sure are a man of confidence. And mighty generous, too. That's me, Buck. Just full of confidence. I'll give you that. Come on, Buck. We're all set up. Deal the cards, boys.
easy boy. I'm one of the good guys. Go ahead. Is your pa's dog all right? He'll either shake your hand or bite it off. Well, let's see. You're looking just fine, sugar. Come on now. <laughs> hey, let me have those tomatoes. Yeah. You farming now, are you? Sure as hell I'm trying. It's the old man's dog here. Waiting on him to get out of the hospital, that's why. <sighs> well, what's he doing there? He ran off the Cherry Creek Road last night. Was he drinking? What do you think? Total this truck? Is he okay? Oh, he's fine. Thank you. Devil sure takes care of his own. I went up the ranch looking for Ace, and somebody's turned that place into a gravel pit. Did you know that? Yeah. Curly. Ace sold out to him. He got this notion to. Prospect for silver up in Tonopah. <coughs> and then he left with 15,000 in his jeans. That's all Curly paid him for that land, $15,000? That's all. Four sections up there. I know. Curly and Ruth still running that place up the highway? Mm-hmm. They're the two busiest people in this county. Curly started a mobile home development on the ranch right in back of the trading post. And he isn't stopping there. Junior. Where are you gonna stop? Well, about that money, I haven't been paying you. It's going to continue to be an interruption there. <laughs> Is that what it's called? A continued interruption? Well, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Your brother's taking care of things. He's selling this place, is he? Why not? Mobile homes are the thing of the future. Yeah. Really come to supper tonight? Yeah. I think he wants to see you. Okay. Well, you and Ace. Maybe you're the lucky ones drifting the way you do. Maybe. You've been keeping borders, Mom. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going up to the hospital. Figures. See you tonight. Keep him off the ceiling, but I can't keep his hands off me. <laughs> Come back in the morning. He was asking for you. Well, when he wakes up, you tell him I'm around, would you? Oh, you gather around, I'd like to say a few words about the Rio de Ranchero. Now, the Bonner Trading Post was established in 1955. 
It's 10 years before the last clean air in America was reportedly seen in Flagstaff, Arizona. I'm no fancy scientist. I'm just a United States businessman, folks, and I'm proud of it. But I'll guarantee you, Prescott's air is as clean or cleaner than our illustrious neighbor to the north. Now, we have an air-conditioned charter bus over here to take you for a free tour of the Rieta Rancheros. We have these lovely young ladies in hot pants passing out free maps and brochures. You'll find at the Rieta Rancheros, the we have quarter acre really lots. Loud. We have underground brochure on your way out. 700 trailer spaces. Would you like the cookie before you leave? garbage cans and total, but I mean total electric living. Now, I hope you enjoyed the free lemonade cookies, courtesy of the early bonus trade folks. Uh, Bonnie, Toby, excuse me, folks. Step right this way, ladies and gentlemen, for home on the range retirement. Just 10 minutes from city shopping. Hey, Junior. Want to play golf? Hey, you doing, boy? The Ranchero, <laughs> there'll be an 18-hole <laughs> golf course for you golf to play. Hey, yeah. How's that rodeo? Life on the tree. Yeah. You got no complaints. Curly. Uh, hey, boy, I'm just making money hand over fist here, huh? You wait till you see what I got lined up for you. Hey, girls, let's roll them, huh? You just gonna love what's happening here. Hey, I'll see you at Mom's tonight. 7 o'clock, dinner sharp, huh? Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Come on! Step aboard, folks. Come on now. Everyone, let's go. Bus is low. Here you go. Let me have you Come on down the highway in the twilight of your life. Then with the house gone, well, then there's no problem. Everything's gonna be better all the way around. Mama's gonna be living inside the model home trailers. Well, Mom can show the people how roomy and comfortable their lives can be in our rancheros. And she can be in charge of our gift shop. And really give me a chance to get rid of some of these antiques. Mom, do you have to smoke while you're feeding our baby? Almost forgot, boys. Here's a couple of free ones. Best seats in the house. Gee, thanks, Uncle, Uncle Junior. Junior. You pass your Uncle Junior those mashed potatoes and gravy. Get some good draws from our Uncle Junior? You better believe. You could write anything with hair on it, Uncle Junior. Well, you pay your money, you take your chances. That's whiskey. There never was a horse that couldn't be rode. There never was a cowboy that couldn't be thrown. Famous old saying, all right. Well, Curly says if you've seen one rodeo, you've seen them all. Well, I didn't mean our rodeo, darling. That's part of history. Well, still, it's just a rodeo. the old man's land. 15,000, was it? Yeah, which he proceeded to gamble in the away in Nevada. But he had to quit prospecting. 20 feet away from Mother Lowe, just like always. Don't seem much. 2,600 acres. Well, now he's got this scheme to go to Australia. Well, why don't you send him? Oh, come on, Junior. I put him on a weekly allowance, and that's that. I told him so. You know what I mean? Yeah. We well, start thinking about your own self for change. You may not know it, but you are in the right place at the right time. It's here. It's a regular land boom, Junior. Yeah, I saw you wide open spaces. 
You know less about wide open spaces than I do. I know it here and where it is. You're just some kind of motel cowboy. Fifteen thousand just seems a little bit short. Fifteen or thirty thousand, he still would have blown it off. Now, he needed the money fast. And I got it for him. Me. I just want you to get a grip on your future. I want you to come work for me. You want me to help you sell the old man's land? Our land. What a salesman you'd make for the Vancheros. Big cowboy like you? Sincere? Were you genuine as a sunrise? Well, there's no point fooling ourselves now, is there? Huh? You got to ride. Giddy up, giddy up. Got to ride. That's right, Curly. Salinas, California. Day after tomorrow. You think on what I said? I still want you to turn out like the old man, man. You know, I'm telling you. feet on the floor, don't you, Arliss? Now watch my legs make them move. But you're not well enough. Oh, I'm heaven bound, sweetheart. But not today. Hey, get that cleaned up, will you please? Junior was in yesterday and he said he was coming back. Well, he'll find me or I'll find him. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Ace, hey, so you get back in this room. I think it's worse on the edge of this hospital. They're not leaving this hospital no matter what. Sweet angel of mercy. I've been thinking on it, Junior. Kick in the head, Junior. That's what it's about. You know, Junior, if a man was going to expand his business and talk in more shows and more towns, he might be interested in an assistant. <laughs> 